San Diegans continue to deal with skyrocketing prices on their power bills. ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez explains why things may only get worse for SDG&E customers. Alfredo Juarez's mother-in-law has lived in this home since 1971. She typically pays about $80 a month. You can see on her bill, in December, she was charged more than $150. January, more than $300. Well, in December, we were gone to Henderson, Nevada for two weeks. So it doesn't even make sense. His wife's mother has Alzheimer's. She doesn't use the stove, occasionally uses a plug-in heater, but mainly just uses the TV. Imagine with a bill of $327 a month, you still have water, sewer, and most importantly, your food and medications. And they are not the only ones with this issue. A statistics professor at Cal State San Marcos went so far as to file a lawsuit against SDG&E after his bills had gone up 117% over five years. I got a mid-usage energy report last month. Could possibly be over $310 a month. I get up in the morning, it's 58 degrees, and I stand in front of the thermostat and debate with myself whether I should freeze to death or turn on the heater. Experts say the prices now are only going to get worse. It doesn't look good. Right now, the CPUC is projecting that by 2030, SDG&E costs will outpace inflation by as much as 70%. SDG&E tells ABC 10 News it understands client concerns. They say typically in colder months like December and January, prices may go up because usage increases. However, SDG&E says they are not upcharging the customer. Rather, the price of wholesale natural gas has gone up 25% in just one year. And the average residential electric rate has had a 7.8% increase among the highest in the nation. The company says prices can change month to month, leaving customers to keep an eye on their usage. Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. If you have seen a hike in your power bill, you can go to 10news.com for links to resources that can help.